I'll be attempting to describe how to build a simple and cheap analog sequencer for uh, programming uh, voltage controlled synthesizers, uh, voltage controlled oscillators and so on and this is very cheaply and easily built particularly by people who may have little experience of, of practical electronics it's a good starting point we begin with this the Velleman MK107 LED running light kit this is readily available all over the world uh, in the UK you can get it from Rapid Electronics or Maplin costs about five pounds in the UK to buy this kit and it enables you to build a little LED running light display as described. If you follow the instructions as included this is what you'll end up with uh, a printed circuit board, battery mounted on the back and an LED running light display which can be programmed in different ways has a little speed control on the front so we can alter the rate of the pattern also a couple of push buttons this simple little kit uses a 555 timer chip and a 4015 binary shift register to produce the pattern and this will enable us to do some tricks that otherwise we couldn't do with a more traditional design which uses a 4017 uh, counter type of chip. What I've done in the construction of this is I've taken one of those circuit boards mounted it up in a box and then modified it with the necessary extra components to make it into an analog sequencer. Here's the printed circuit board mounted so the LEDs are showing at the front and the circuit diagram that comes with this shows very clearly uh, eight control lines coming from the 4015 chip each to a resistor which then feeds the LEDs we need to make a series of eight connections at the point where the resistor connects to the eight lines on the chip the resistors can clearly be seen in between the LEDs on the front here and we make connections not between the resistor and the LED but between the resistor and the chip, eight connections. These eight connections are taken out to eight 10 kilo linear potentiometers which will enable us to do our programming and each of these connections goes to a pin on one side of the potentiometer. The connection on the other side of the potentiometer in each case goes to earth and then the programmed voltages come out of the center pin of these eight 10 kilo potentiometers. These are connected together via eight signal diodes the signal diodes are wired in one to each potentiometer center pin the anodes of the diodes, that's the end that doesn't have a, an indicator band on it goes to the potentiometer and all the cathodes are wired together onto a single bus any signal diodes can be used here uh, silicon 1N914, 1N4148 types can be used adequately but these will produce uh, something of a dead spot in the uh, voltages obtained from the potentiometers so uh, better still use a silicon Schottky diode in each case or alternatively as I have done uh, germanium diodes these are wired together here to an output pot which sets the overall range of the output and this is a 100 kilo linear potentiometer I've also wired in some additional resistors to limit the output the output as it stands will vary from between 0 and 8 volts approximately this is a bit too hot for some of my circuits 
so I put in limiting resistors in series with the potentiometer to limit the output voltage but that depends on what you're powering. The output then goes out to the uh, output socket. I've also put in a second socket connected to pin 3 of the 555 timer which allows us to output a clock pulse from the timer. This may need some conditioning but otherwise could be used as uh, a gate or trigger pulse. There are three controls on the board which need to be taken out to the front panel. The first is the rate potentiometer which sets the speed of how fast things operate. Uh, on the original circuit this is 2.2 mega ohms which is a bit extreme for our needs so I've replaced it wiring in in its place uh, a 1 mega ohm linear potentiometer there which is perfectly adequate. And we need to replace the two push buttons on the board there with simple push buttons for programming and resetting. Now notice the push buttons that are included with the kit also make connections, they're four pin types, they make connections between sets of two pins on the board. Those connections need to be soldered in manually in their place in order to get the circuit to work properly. That's how it's done. Put it together like this and we can test the output. Uh, we reset the pattern initially, put it through a little synthesizer and that's the output we get. Each of the uh, uh, eight notes can be adjusted individually. and so on. The rate can be adjusted on this control from very slow which is useful for programming apart from anything else to very fast. Now there's a nice trick we can do with this which we can't do with the 4017 type design like the Baby 10 sequencer uh, and that is because it's just based on a shift register we can actually uh, introduce more beats into the pattern so by pressing the program control again we can get a pattern like that which you can't do in a normal sequencer now in this situation the higher of the two illuminated voltages gets taken to the output so what we will produce is an, an arpeggio based on our original notes but excluding some of them. So we can get different patterns of that type running on there. So there you have it, uh, a simple analog sequencer based on the Velleman kit, readily available, easily built and easily modified to your own specifications as you wish. If you attempt to build this, good luck and I hope you have fun. <laughs>